In the Swedish countryside, a mysterious object races towards Knut Lindback's farm. Something hit the bottom of the lake and exploded. The impact triggers a massive ripple effect. Part of the bottom from this lake was thrown on the shore. Bjarne, they do okay. They do okay. Knut suspects they've been hit with a V1 bomb. Knut Lindbeck, as many other Swedes, knew about the V-bombs from the war. The V-1 was kind of an airplane with a big rocket pod on the top, and it would fly more or less straight level. It's sort of what we would call a cruise missile today. But according to Knut, the object didn't look like a V-1. Knut Lindbeck described to me a very, very strange formation, really. It was not as you would expect, a pointed nose. It was a stub nose on this object. Knut decides to row out to the point of impact. Knut told me that he was really startled about this, but he was also curious. He wanted to know what had crashed into the lake. Given the massive collision, Knut expects to find the waters littered with pieces from the shattered object. When V-bombs crashed in Sweden, there were 2,000, 3,000 kilos of debris to be found. But there was nothing of that sort. Not a scrap of metal. Nothing. Since Lake Kjomjarv is only two meters deep, Knut checks to see if he can feel any debris below the water. If you're looking at the bottom of the lake, and you see something fall on the lake, and it's heavy enough and it's traveling deep enough, it may bury itself in the silt at the bottom of the lake. So you would probe around with an oar, as Knut Lindbeck did. but still no trace of the wreckage. Nothing has recovered from that, so we don't know what fell into that lake. 